Hey guys, it's me Hanaf and welcome to part 7 of the Learn Discord.py tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to handle errors in Discord.py. So, uh, it's quite common for every developer to have errors in their code. So, Discord.py has a pretty good method to handle those errors which occur when a command is run. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video. So let's get started. Here I made a command called squared. So it basically takes a number which is converted into an integer because every discord.py string is like every discord.py message is a string or a command. Those are strings. So I'm converting that to a number and then I am just sending the square of that number so let's say if it's 2 so 2 squared is 4 so I'm just sending that uh, to the output now let's try to run this command and see if it works so python bot.py and let's wait for the bot to come online and as you can see it's ready so in the last video I've showed you guys how to change the bot presence so I am I have made the bot's current status to listening to the square.py, so whatever. Now let's try to run the squared function. So squared 5. So 5 squared is 25. It's simple, okay? So the bot can do that. But what if we send it squared and don't pass anything? Like, what will the bot do? Basically, it's showing an error that missing require argument that means that num is a required argument that's missing so here basically this is the error let num this is a required argument but it's missing since we only said send the ctx the command but we didn't send the num argument okay so this this will show an error so how do you handle it well we can do a not so efficient way like we can give it a default value let's say none so we can do this but this is not very efficient so if num so that if the value of num if there is a value of num then we're going to be sending the squared and else we're going to be just sending await oh, ctx dot send and i'm just going to send give me a number number two to find uh two square how about that so let's run the bot and now if i do squared like you can handle errors in this way but this is very inefficient and the bot's ready now if i do squared as you can see it's saying that give me a number to square so and what like this is a way you can handle the errors but it's not a good way so what we can do instead of doing this we can make an event, oh sorry, not an event, an error handler. So error handlers are like very simple. So we have to add squared dot error. So basically we're taking the name of the function and if there's an error, we're using that as the command function decorator. So at squared dot error async def, you can name it whatever you want, squared error. Now it will take the ctx as the first argument and then the error. So all error handlers take these two. The uh, it's in the documentation if you want to check it out and learn more about it. So take the ctx and the error uh, parameters. Now, now what I can do is just return something like await ctx dot send give a uh, give me a number to square how about that so now if we run the bot now if we do squared and now since it's ready now if we do squared it's going to be telling me give me a number to square since it's handling the error but what if instead of sending a number as the parameter we send a string what if that happens? It's still telling that give me a number to square. Now, 
how can we differentiate different errors since this one will return a bad argument error since the argument is supposed to be an integer but it's a string so this will return a bad argument error and this one returns a missing uh this one returns a missing argument error it was over there oh where is it oh yeah missing required argument error so how can we differentiate this different kinds of errors in the error handler well it's simple we can use the python's is instant uh, function so we can do if is instance now we're checking if uh, error and discord dot okay guys so i had to go uh, i had a, a little issue so if is instance error now we have to do commands dot missing required argument so we are using this error the commands dot missing required argument not commands dot errors so commands dot missing required argument so we're checking if the error is same as the commands or missing required argument and if it is it will just send wait ctx dot send give me a number to square then we want to return so the function is terminated and it doesn't go forward because if we have any code like print stuff then if we don't have a return after doing this it will print it so if you have code after handling an error uh, you should use return if you don't want that to be executed now we can uh, check if the number is not a string so you can do if is instance i'm oh, sorry instance so error commands dot bad argument that means uh it wanted an integer or a specific data type but it was given something else so if is instance commands dot bad argument then we are going to do oitctx dot send give me an integer okay so give me an integer and then we want to return now what we can do, oh sorry, is we can run the bot. And now if we do squared, and if you don't give it anything, it should send that the bot's ready. Commands dot missing required. Oh sorry, uh, we have to remove the none from there. Okay, or or else it will not show. So let's use that. Now once the bot's ready, now as you can see, give me a number two square. Now, if we give it something else, now we'll say, give me an integer. So this is how you can handle errors in discord.py. So this was a kind of short video. So still, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Also, if you guys need help, you can join my uh, help server. And I have the link in the description below so you guys can check it out. So I will see you guys next time. Peace out.